Hi everyone, I hope you're okay and keeping safe at home. Me and Catherine are going to be reading you a really lovely story today, so I hope you enjoy it. Our story is called Here We Go Harry by Kim Lewis. There was a little hill near Harry's house. It wasn't too high, it wasn't too far. Harry climbed up with his friends Ted and Lulu. On the top of the hill, it was windy. Clouds were floating along in the sky. Birds were swooping up and down in the air. Whoops, said Harry as the breeze flapped his ears. Whee, said Ted as it tickled his fur. Whoopee, said Lulu, feeling loopy and happy. Lulu ran in the grass. She hopped, one, two, three. She leapt in the wind from the hill. Look at me, Ted and Harry, called Lulu, and she flew in the air as light as could be. You see her, Catherine? Wait for me, Lulu, said Ted. He ran in the grass. He hopped, one, two, three. cried Ted. In the breeze from the hill, Ted flew in the air. Whoopee and wee went Lulu and Ted as they tumbled down the hill in the soft summer grass. They went roly-poly all the way to the bottom. What about me? wondered Harry. peered over the edge of the hill. His ears flapped this way and that in the wind. His fur felt ruffled. His trunk felt tickled. Come on, Harry, called Lulu and Ted. Hmm. Doesn't look very happy. Harry went back a little. He hopped. One, two, three. Then a small puff of wind blew Harry's ears. Both of them flapped right over his eyes. Harry stopped on the edge of the hill. He couldn't take off. He didn't feel right. He didn't feel loopy or swoopy or light. Hmm. You can do it, Harry, called Lulu and Ted. But Harry just sat there all by himself. Hmm. Lulu and Ted ran back up the hill. We'll go with you, Harry, said Ted. Ready now, Harry, said Lulu. Lulu and Ted held Harry's ears. They ran in the grass. They hopped. One, two, three. Oh, oh, said Harry. He took a deep breath. And before Harry knew it, off they all flew. His ears spread wide in the wind. He felt as loopy and swoopy and as light as could be for one long, lovely second. Then the three little friends landed tumble slump and went roly poly in the soft hill grass. Whoopee! Wee! Whoops! cried Lulu, Ted and Harry. We did it, said Harry. We did it together. And on the little hill near Harry's house, which wasn't too high and wasn't too far, Harry, Ted and Lulu went jumping again. Here we go, Harry, said Lulu and Ted. And Harry, with his ears spread wide in the wind, flew the longest and lightest of all. The end. So I hope you've enjoyed our story today, Catherine. And um, I can think of some people that would have lovely friends like Harry's who would help them if they were stuck. So stay safe. Bye.